Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, today I just want to quickly touch on the topic of VR performance and optimization. Now, I myself have been very lucky and I've had very good luck with VR performance over the past 12 months when I know a lot of people have had a lot of issues in War Thunder VR, regardless of what type of headset they use, whether it's an Oculus, an Index, a Vive, a G2, um, there's various different um, HMDs that are used nowadays. So I want to run through what my setup was and currently is, and hopefully just clear up a couple of things. Um, one of the biggest issues that we're having, actually the two biggest issues that are happening in VR at the moment is spotting, so dots disappearing, fading in and out, and also micro stuttering. Um, I have good news and I have bad news. Uh, the good news is I have got some tips to help with both of those topics. The bad news is both of those topics are not necessarily a VR problem, it's more so a direct War Thunder problem. So we can, we can treat the symptoms, but we can't cure the underlying problem. With that being said, I will get stuck into what I currently have as my setup. So I very recently switched over to a HP Reverb G2, and I essentially still use the exact same setup that I had for my Oculus Rift S. Uh, now, I can run this at a higher spec than this, but I prefer to get the extra frame rates. Um, the only thing I would change with this entire setup if you're having issues getting this frame rate would probably be to turn off anti-aliasing completely. I do run it on on times four with um, HQFXAA, but I sometimes turn it off if I'm having issues. Now, DLSS, I run off. I did have it on for a while, but then after one of the latest patches, it kind of broke again. Um, SSAA, I run off. Uh, texture quality of high, shadows on medium, effects resolution on high, render resolution all the way up. Uh, cloud quality in flight is medium, cloud quality on the ground is lowish, terrain quality is medium, tree range is lowish, particle density I essentially have on max, I have grass turned off, it does make an impact on some systems on mine, it seems to be hit and miss, I think it depends on the map honestly. Um, SSAO quality I have on medium, if it's running, uh, small object shadows I have off, reflection quality I have off, Water quality high, illumination high, physics quality is max, terrain displacement doesn't really matter unless I'm playing tanks and I don't do tanks in VR. Um, I have the cockpit mirror reflections on high because it doesn't seem to have an impact for me. I run it on and off and it's a negligible difference. Um, shadows I have on, object shadows I actually usually have off, but I was just playing in 2D mode so I turned them on for that. Um, advanced sure you can have on or off it doesn't make a huge difference soft particles I run helps with uh, spotting near the ground with smoking aircraft things like that far terrain details I have on lens flare I have on because it's pretty um, and everything else can basically stay the same and of course you know VR mode will be switched on and you want to have your display mode set to your dominant eye if you're recording and of course have VR streamer mode on as well now the dot spotting issue in VR seems to be an LOD issue, um, and this is affecting people uh, playing on pancake mode as well, not just in VR, and it seems to be affecting all game modes, so um, you know, tank mode, uh, air arcade, RRB, air sim, anything with aircraft, it seems to be a rendering issue at the moment, so I think that's something that isn't hugely out of our control. One thing you can do to potentially improve your spotting of aircraft is to go into your post FX settings and turn up your sharpness all the way up. Now that will make some things look pretty crap, but it does um, make distant objects appear sharper. So that might help you in terms of spotting performance. And another thing you can do as well, depending on what headset you use, is adjust your super sampling up if you can afford to do it. Now, I never really needed to do much with super sampling. I did have my super sampling turn up on my Rift S to 1.3, but on the G2, I just leave it as normal because honestly, I'm pretty lucky with spotting in the in the G2 so far. But if you're running anything with a slightly lower resolution, like an original Rift or a Rift S or an original Vive, super sampling at 1.3 to 1.5 is probably the best place to go. Now, the stuttering issue I'm noticing affects both users, but I've noticed there is a lot more people with Oculus headsets that have the issue 
versus people that don't run Oculus headsets. And one of these, um, the main causes of this issue, is something called um, ASW. Now, ASW stands for Asynchronous Space Warp, and it's basically um, designed for people to turn on when they're running an Oculus on a sort of a system with lower specs, so like a slightly lower power CPU, so maybe something like with, you know, a GDX 970 or like, you know, a 1070 or something like that, you know, more the lower end GPUs. Um, Unfortunately, with all Oculus headsets, ASW is usually turned on by default, and basically if you're running a decent spec computer or even a medium spec computer and um, ASW is on, if you're... It's, it basically forces you to a locked frame rate, and if your computer can do more than that, it will actually cause massive stuttering issues because your computer is fighting with with Oculus's firmware for essentially control of the headset's frame rate in game. And this doesn't affect doesn't doesn't just affect War Thunder. Uh, this can affect other games as well. Um, DCS, IL two, Beat Saber, all sorts. I've had this issue on a lot when I had the Rift S. And it isn't very well documented, um, to be honest, but I did a bit of Googling a while ago and solved the problem for myself. So basically, there are a couple of built-in default hotkeys for Oculus headsets that'll fix this. And the one you want to press when you're in-game, you have to do this once, is once you've loaded into War Thunder, press Control and Numpad 1. That will de- That will disable... ASW completely, which means your frame rates are not going to be throttled or limited or adjusted in any way. The Oculus will give you the best frame rates you can get on your performance, and that usually makes things a lot smoother if you're an Oculus user. So log into the game in VR, press control, and numpad one. Not normal one, numpad one. It has to be the numpad. That's the only key bind for it. You'll see something up on the screen now. I'll post a little screenshot of that. That has solved a lot of issues for Oculus VR users. Um, I've had a lot of people message me in Discord privately saying, you know, can you help me with this? And my first question is, do you run on Oculus? Yes, I do. Have you turned off ASW? What's that? And I explain. And then they message me saying that half, most of the time they, they come back saying it's a big difference. So control numpad one is your friend if you're an Oculus user. If you're a Windows Mixed Reality user like I am now, um, if you use like a uh, Vive or a Reverb or um, I think Index uses a similar thing, um, ASW isn't isn't a thing. So it's more down to tweaking your settings and finding what's best for you. But honestly, with those, I haven't needed to do much tweaking on, on settings. I guess if you want to improve your spotting... The best thing would be to potentially increase super sampling a little bit, but you also should probably look at adjusting contrast in post FX settings and playing around with the sharpness as well. So I have my sharpness set to about one quarter to one third, depending on what kind of map I'm playing on, and that usually just helps me see the dots a little bit better. Um, if you're still getting micro stuttering on in some games, that is unfortunately just a War Thunder thing at the moment. I play some games and I get butter smooth gameplay. There's no issues. And then the next map I'll hop into, I'll get all sorts of micro stutterings. Sometimes it's persistent, sometimes it comes and goes, and sometimes it'll start off stuttery and it'll eventually go away. I'm still doing a bit of experimentation to find out if this is a server-based thing, because sometimes I get it more on US servers compared to EU servers or SA servers, etc. Um, At the moment, I don't have enough evidence to suggest that it is specifically server-related. I think it's more of a... Uh, uh, just a latency issue in general because for me the micro stutters tend to be a lot more common when I'm low to the ground and looking at the train so if I'm flying around at less than 500 meters and I'm looking down at the train especially if it's complex the micro stuttering is considerably worse than if I was flying up at say two three or four thousand uh, meters so if you're getting micro stuttering try the oculus um, ASW if you've got an oculus if you don't have an oculus mess around with the settings and even just change lobbies. I know it's a pain, but sometimes just changing to a different lobby can sometimes fix it. And worst case scenario, if you're getting really bad stuttering, experiment, take your aircraft up high. And if the stuttering eases off, then it is a War Thunder issue and not a hardware issue for you. Um, Now, I have been told that the developers are aware of the VR bug issues. I have submitted several bug reports myself personally, as have other people both through the official forums and through um, private back channels, through the Gaijin uh, community Discord, etc., which is how I've submitted my bug reports. 
it seems to be an issue, not necessarily with OpenXR, but more so the way that War Thunder connects and uses OpenXR. Um, they're definitely aware of it, they're definitely working on it, it is a pain in the ass, but hopefully this video helps out some users. I wish I had more information, but this is this is the limit of my knowledge on this, but I wanted to put up a video on it anyway to, to hopefully give some people some help on this. Um, if, you, if anyone out there has any tips or anything useful, please drop it in a comment below. Um, and if there are lots of tips, I might even make a follow-up video and uh, display all of these comments and go into a bit more detail. But hopefully this video helps out some people. And again, if you have any questions, leave a comment or join the Discord and ask some questions there. Thanks.